Police claim three major arrests have uncovered an alleged plan by a bikey gang to recruit members on the South Coast. The secretary of the Comanchero South Coast chapter and two of the gang's alleged associates were arrested last week for allegedly selling huge amounts of cocaine, following a federal police investigation. Encrypted text messages obtained by police allegedly revealed the local Comanchero gang was trying to bolster numbers in the Illawarra and South Coast to ensure the protection of drug-running territory. Gang secretary Matthew Duet and brothers Samuel and Siasi Tufwaka were charged on 3rd of September with serious drug-related offenses, after they were allegedly caught using encrypted devices and code names to facilitate drug deals. Duet, 31, was charged with 42 drug supplying charges, and two counts of knowingly dealing in the proceeds of crime. Samiu, 19, was charged with four counts of supplying prohibited drugs, knowingly or recklessly directing criminal groups to assist crime, dealing with property proceeds of crime, and supplying prohibited drug. His older brother Siasi, was charged with knowingly or recklessly directing criminal groups to assist crime, two counts of supplying prohibited drugs, two counts of dealing with property from proceeds of crime, supplying prohibited drugs, and dealing with proceeds of crime. Police also swooped on Emmanuel Vambukakis, the Comanchero South Coast Chapter's Sergeant at Arms, in a major operation at Mount Kira in June, after police allege he attempted to import cocaine into Australia through an associate in Greece. After his arrest, police allege Duet established a coordinated and extensive criminal network, by having direct control over the Tufwaku brothers, assisted through affiliation with the Comancheros. In court, Police said that the Comanchero gang used to facilitate the alleged supply and ongoing protection of Duet's criminal network and the supply of drugs, enforcement of drug distribution territory, incidents of public acts of violence, including debt collection violence. Despite conditions of Duet's parole forbidding him from associating with any member of any outlaw motorcycle gang, it's alleged that he continued to do so through encrypted messaging. In one encrypted exchange with Bambukakis, he discussed his involvement and intention to strengthen the Comanchero's presence in the South Coast region to ensure the protection of drug-running territory. Brother please. We need to build up a solid crew here, I need your help. You got a brother there with you today that we can use in our team, would kill for you and he is trustworthy, we need that, it's all going shit here. Let's build a good solid team brother. I'm ready to get crew again. I think we need new boys on and keep pushing forward bro. Duet said. Vambukakis responded. We need good boys from the hood. Good solid boys. No more nobodies or boys from other areas, it won't work. The days of having just riders are gone. It feels like we are halfway chapter. The texts also uncovered the motorcycle gang's alleged methods of debt collection. In a message to Vambukakis, Duet detailed his methods of receiving debts, with police claiming he threatened a man's mother, threatening to torture her son in front of her. I told her. I am done with helping her and it needs to be fixed. Or I will give her address and will stop protecting them. I told her I'll tie them up and torture the kid in front of them. Cause I'm looking like a gronk due to her fuck ups. Duet, Vamvukakis and Siasi remain on remand in custody, while Samu was granted bail last Friday.